Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In lesson three, we will learn about the coordinate system in 3D Studio Max. Coordinate system will really help you to use manipulation tools and to organize your scene. So let's start with the lesson three. Can you please pass me the juice? No, can you give me an on X axis, please? Thank you. So everyone, we will start now with our next lesson. This lesson is about the coordinate system. So as we know now how to manipulate objects, how to transform uh, transform objects. Now let's see what is the coordinate system because it's high, uh, it is strongly linked with your transformation manipulation tools. Okay. So let's see uh, what it is now. Uh, the coordinate systems are different for each of these transformation tools. For move, it is different. For se uh, select and rotate, it is different. For scale, it is different. Okay, so let's see with select and move. So if I will go to the select and move right now, I can select any object and I can I can move them easily with my mouse. What if you want to move it accurately and you know? the coordinate which is given to you okay now coordinates is strongly related also to the units okay because if you don't know which unit you are using or which units you want to work on it will become little little problematic okay so how to find units to find units first of all you have to go to customize option then you have to go to the unit setup okay so here is the unit setup and the customize. Then you have to choose your units. Right now I'm using metric and in the metric I'm using centimeters. Okay. You can use US standard or you can use decimal feet, fractional inches, whatever you want. Or you can use uh, the, the cust, okay, with centimeters and you can make your own cust, okay. Then which basically cust is like a customized one, custom, okay. Then you have here generic units, okay. Generic units is basically like there is no units. It's like gener generic unit of uh, 3D Studio Max, which is centimeters basically, okay. But I will use metric with a centimeter. So I know I'm working on the centimeters. So I will press, okay, okay, clear. Now, if I want to move it on a particular point, okay. So what do I have, what I can do is that I can go to my coordinate systems, okay, and let me move these out of the way. So you have clear way to the wall, for the box, okay. Now, where you find the coordinate system, coordinate system are given below, okay. There is coordinate for the X, coordinate for the Y, coordinate for the Z. Other than that, we have these options. This is the isolation, isolate selection, which means if I will click on isolate, so only this object will be isolated and it will be shown on the screen. Okay. If I will click on lock, so my window will be locked here. Okay. And I cannot do any other thing. I cannot deselect or click these. I will be locked to the uh, move, uh, like select and move. So I don't want that. So after that, we have all these coordinates here. Now the coordinates here, x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Now x-axis basically if I move you can see that the x-coordinates is changing. Okay. So if I write here 0 and press enter, so it moves to the middle of this grid in the x, uh, in the, uh, in this x direction. Okay. Which is this direction. Okay. Now if I will go to y, and try to start moving this, you can see that the y direction is moving, this one. So if I will go here and press and type here 0 and enter, so you can see in the y direction, it is now moved in the 0. Z is already 0. That means now my box is exactly in the middle of this grid. Let me show you from the bottom. You can see that exactly in the middle. Okay. So you can move from here with the your like axis or simply you can click here and move okay like x axis you can click on these arrows and you can drag your mouse up and down okay or you can keep it press 
but it will move slowly if you want to move you know accurately and you want to see is it reaching here and then stop because if you click and move it's quite fast and sometimes it, it it's kind of a little bit you know uh, you have to be accurate with it so maybe you can press uh, it and le and just keep it pressed so it will keep on increasing or you can drag your mouse up and down for fast movement so that you can easily do from here the good thing about your coordinate system is that it tells you accurately where you are moving so you know all the math okay now right now I'm in the mode which is absolute mode and it shows me what's uh, where my object is other than that we have here if I click this option it will toggle to the offset like uh, offset mode now what is the offset mode basically in the offset mode it does not give me the actual current location it always gives me it always resets to zero so you can offset it where, where like wherever you want so now if I will change it it will go back to zero okay if I will change the Y I know now this minus 79 something like that but when I leave my mouse it will become zero so it helps you to offset from the value where it is right now okay but I don't want that I want to keep it to the absolute mode so I know actually where my object is so this is for the select and move as soon I will move to let me uh, put this on zero coordinate all of it okay now if I will go to rotation by pressing E or clicking here you will see that the coordinates are changed now okay now I'm in the coordinate of rotation not in the move uh, like uh, like select and move so if I will select and increase or decrease so it will show me degrees okay like if I will type here 90 degrees so it will be rotated 90 degrees or if I will type it 180 so it will be rotated 180 degree on the x-axis okay so this is how you can uh, rotate from the coordinates okay so more easily here here as well the y-axis and around it which is the x-axis so this is how you can easily do that but I don't want it so what I will do is that I will keep it 0 0 0 for all of it next is the select and uniform scale so when I go to select and uniform scale so I have here only X rest of them are not uh, you can say activated they are grayed or you can say they are disabled the reason is that I'm in the select and uniform scale so uniform scales mean if I increase it all the size gets uh, bigger or smaller at the same time there is a linked scaling for all of them okay but if I don't want that so what I can do I can go to the scale option keep this pressed and then I can go to the second one because the second one is select and non-uniform scale so as soon I will do that you will notice that all of them are now activated so I can separately control them okay because now I'm not in the uniform mode anymore I'm in a non-uniform mode so I can do whatever I want basically okay so I hope this thing is clear uh, with you okay now if I will make it zero so you will notice it will be gone okay it's still there but what it's zero 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 it means like it's kind of uh, now completely gone so if you will see here the grid is basically uh, around 10 centimeters so if I will try to 10 so you will see that this box is now there and it is the same size of the grid so if I will take it okay and move to the any place here you will notice that it is following the grid actual size okay so this is how you can uh, work on the coordinate system for each of your uh, ob like uh, like objects okay, like your like transformation tool whether it is scale where, or uniform scale non-uniform scale rotation or the movement okay for select and move if I will 
click on select and move and select it, nothing will be activated because it doesn't do anything. It's only select your object. So I hope you all have understood about the coordinate system now. So we will learn more about the Studio Studio Max in our next lesson. So guys, until then, uh, take care and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not uh, yet subscribed. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can be notified for all the amazing uh, tutorials, videos uh, I will be uploading soon. And please, my again humble request, watch my videos from the starting till end and watch it online. Because if you download the videos, I don't get the watch time hours. Because the watch time is very critical for me because if I don't get the watch time hours, enough hours, for, okay? So I you know, I'll get demotivated because that's the only thing um, like uh, motivates me and also your supports motivates me. So in return, just uh, do me a favor, do not download the videos, always watch it online and watch till the end because there are very important tips I usually give you in between the videos. So don't skip, watch it till the end so you know what's going on, otherwise it will uh, become a little uh, probat but like problematic for you to understand the whole thing. You might skip some important parts. Okay, so please uh, uh, take care, and we'll see you in the next 3D Studio Max 2021 Essentials.